Hi, welcome to Dupi Animations. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to take you through a, a simple steps to create a squeeze bag. Actually, what makes people find it difficult is the exact measurement to use, which shouldn't be the problem. All right. So let's open After Effects here. Okay. So I have After Effects here. So let's use just the simple HD, which is 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080 okay let me name it just main okay all right so i have this here so this my stage all right so let me insert in a new solid new solid let me make it white okay so this one will be the floor or the backdrop all right so now let's lock this one. Let's create a new one, new solid layer. Then let's make this one. Um, let me use black. Okay, let it be black. Okay, so I have two solid layers in my composition. All right, the black and the white with the white lock as the background. Okay, so what you are going to do here is this. The black is going to be the place where the video is inserted okay so with the black selected go to the choose menu and select the anchor point okay then you hold you click and hold the control then you click on the anchor point in the middle of the black then snap it to the to your right side corner there at the top there okay you snap it to your right side at the corner there you see that Let's go and select the selection too. Okay. So from here, what you do is press S on the keyboard, which is scale. Okay. S is scale. All right. So the exact size of the black here is 100%. So what we are going to do is we are going to give it a 70% size. Okay. So let's type 70% there. 70. Then enter. You see that? So this is the exact size that you need for a squeeze back okay with this side your left side here being where the product is displayed and the bottom here is where your infos it can be for back purchase or what the product does is displayed here okay so let's just do example let's just do a quick example let me see if i have some image here okay let me just bring this balloon here okay Okay, so I have this balloon here, which I'm going to use as the, as the product, all right? So let me click and drag it into the scene here. It will be underneath the black, okay? So let me scale it down. Let me bring it here, okay? So the display will be here, all right? So they're coming in. Let's just use a simple position. So on four seconds, hit P and set a key. Then move the timeline backwards, then drag the product the, the balloon out. Okay. Now select the two keys, then easy ease them. Alright. Go to graph editor, then pull the right side in. So you have something like this. Okay. Let me drag it in a bit more again. Okay, so let's say the balloon is our product. Okay. Now, the info, this is where the info comes in. Let's say, let me type something here. Yeah. This balloon is for case. Okay. So let me scale it down. All right, let me position it somewhere here. Okay, so I don't want to waste time, so I'll, I'll just use the presets, the text animation presets in After Effects. So I'll come to animation, browse presets, then select, uh, what is it, test folder here, double click on it, then maybe go to 3D test, then select this one. So just double click on it, okay, then it will apply. So let me minimize it. So you have this. When this one comes in, when the balloon comes in, then the right one will come. 
too slow. Where did they start from? I'm seeing. I may close him because the timeline was in the middle there. So he started from the middle. It's too slow. So let me drag the percentage in so that it will be a bit faster. So we have this. This balloon is for case. Okay. So you can decide when it comes like this. Position again. Then it goes. Or you can just fade it in. So let me use rather fading. The opacity. Then off it goes. So this balloon is for case. This balloon is for case. All right, the opacity. Let me bring this one in. Then I'll maybe I'll split it here. Let me go to the edit menu, then split it somewhere there. Then clear this one. So let me duplicate this one, then bring it to here. So that when this one ends, it will follow. Okay. So now let's type something like for back patches, for bulk patches, or distribution. Then let's contacts. Uh, let me just break. Let me break it here. Contacts. The company can be DV, DV, DV also. Okay, let me pull this up. I'm closing a bit. Contact DV. On. Then the number will come in. Zero, three, six, whatever, whatever. So, just like this. Okay. So, when this one comes. You see. So, actually, squeeze back is simple. It's just the, the product, the information, then the company. Simple. You don't need that much, a lot of unnecessary things. Okay, you're supposed to keep it simple for it to sell. So, from here, if you need to render it, if it's in sequence, some of the playout take sequential files. Okay. So, for that... Come to the toggle switch, then click on the mode, then come here. Then select maybe silhouette alpha. Okay. So what it will do is it will carve out a hole there so that this the black part will be transparent. Okay. Let's see. You see that it's transparent? You see? So from here, if I were to create another uh, com or composition, then I have this video image in here. Okay. And let's make it fit. Okay. So we have this. All right. Now let's click and drag the main on top of it. You see, now we have this. Let's play it. You see. So from here, if the one controlling the switcher, when the image come on top of it like this, he's supposed to scale the image down to fit that particular place so the playout will use maybe fade in okay so maybe from here let me do an opacity style here so now let's see what is play then it will come in so when the program is going on this is what will happen so that your squeeze bar comes on. So at this point, whoever is controlling the switches or directing will just use the switcher to scale the video. Okay. We scale the video to this size so that it will fit in perfectly. So let's say, let me use the anchor point, the same thing. Um, anchor point two, then drag it to this side. So they will just scale it so that it fits perfectly into the box here. Okay. You see. First it was playing like this. Uh, uh, let me just set a key here. 100. 
So on the play out, let's say the video is playing like this, then the squeeze back will come in. Then the one controlling the switches will scale it to fit or directing will scale it to fit that particular portion. Okay. All right. So this is just a simple, this I'm trying to show you how to create a squeeze back. So once you are done here, just come to either composition, add render queue. All right. Then come to the lossless. Then it says here format. So you select PNG sequence. All right. So you create a folder to render the sequential files or the sequence files into. Okay. Then you select here channels. You select here R RGB alpha. Okay. Then you click OK. Then you come here, wherever you want the file to be rendered into the folder, then you render into it. All right. Okay. I hope you all pick something. So see you next time, guys.